the amount of money you actually need to be financially free is a lot less than what you think it is. Like, probably a tenth of what you think it is. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how and why. You're going to want to stay tuned for this full video because I'm going to share things that I've never shared on this channel before. And on your pursuit of financial freedom, it starts with this. Three prerequisites. One, you got to make sure you're completely out of any credit card debt. Two, you want to make sure that you're spending less than what you're making. And three, you want to make sure you have a regular savings account with at least $1,000 in it and an emergency fund that at least has one month's worth of expenses in it. That you're continuing to build to reach three to six months worth of expenses. So now that I told you what you already know, we're going to break down what it means to be financially free and how little that number actually is compared to what you think it is. But the thing is, I can show you so much better than I can tell you. So first, we're going to aim for number one, and that is financial security. So if you look at my screen, you're going to see exactly what I mean by everything that I'm saying. So in the sense of this video, what I'm talking about financial security, this is what I'm talking about. You need five things to get your financial security number. And I'm going to show you on this calculator that I made because for the record, the concept that I'm talking about in this specific video is from a book I read a while ago and I continue to reread called Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins. So I did not come up with this concept. I just wanted to be clear on that. Now you need five things. You need to know exactly how much you spend per month on your rent, on your utilities, food, transportation, and insurance. And I'm talking basic insurance. So for the sake of this video, we're going to give an example. And the example is actually going to be me back when I was making around $75,000 per year, give or take. This is what my expenses look like. And we're going to start with our bare bones, basic expenses. Now, so now rent ran me about $1,500. That's what we're going to put on up in here. Utilities, so think about gas, water, electricity, but also your cell phone bill. That was a good, that ran me about, we'll say $200 for adding all that together because uh, utilities were fairly low. Usually my cell phone bill is what took up most of my utilities in this case. Food, I spent around $600 a month at that time. Transportation, about 160 give or take. And insurance, never really too bad, probably about 150 or so. And so as you can see here, the number that we're looking for is $2,610 per month. So I'm going to be kind of looking over here. If you see me looking towards something that's looking at my laptop screen, which I have to the side over here, $2,610 is equivalent to $31,320 per year. That is your yearly financial security number. And so here in a few minutes, we're going to talk about exactly how much money you need invested. And that's the whole reason why I said there were those three prerequisites, because before you're even able to invest, you need some prerequisites. So we're going to talk here in a few minutes about exactly how much money you need to invest in order to earn that exact amount of money per year. And it's a really cool thing that you can just invest a certain amount of money in order to earn a certain amount of money per year. It's the coolest thing ever, in my opinion. But before we do that, we're going to talk a little bit more about goals. Right now, the important thing is that we get the number that we're going to need per year in order to afford these things. So bare bones basics, you need $31,320. And by you, I mean the old me. So that amount might not seem like a lot, but believe it or not, that's a little more than half of what I was taking home when I was making $75,000 a year. Because the $75,000 a year was before taxes. So now we get to financial independence and you want to ask yourself this one question when you get to financial independence. And that's how much money do you need to maintain your current lifestyle? In other words, how much money are you spending right now to live in the comfort zone that you're in right now? So it's not just your bare bones basics of food and shelter. No, it's also what do you do on the weekend? What kind of clothes are you buying? What kind of shoes are you buying? What do you like to do in your leisure time? Do you like to go out every now and then? These are the expenses you want to add to this. So you pretty much just want to put the amount of money that you're spending right now at your comfort level. It's not adding a ton of luxurious things, but it's just as you are right now, how much are you spending? Now, just so you know, your financial independence number is going to be in a different world than your financial security number was. And that's because this actually builds on top of financial security. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So around the time I was making $75,000 a year, I was spending about... 
$4,500 a month, give or take. So if you multiply that by 12 and then you add that onto the financial security number that you need yearly, it comes out to $85,320. So now, as you can see, the numbers at the bottom are starting to populate over in the green. So check this out. We need to first establish how much we think we're gonna earn through our investments because again, all of these numbers that you see right here are how much money you're gonna need invested in the green now. In the green bar, that is the number you need invested in order to get the income that is outlined in the dark purple. And by the way, if you wanna grab this spreadsheet, you can get it in the description. It's called the Financial Freedom Card because it looks like this little card with, with all the most important numbers that you will ever have in your life on it as far as your finances go at least. So check this out. The stock market tends to re return about 9.2%. And you know, if you've seen my investing videos, I talk about how my returns have been 30% and, and they've just been crazy. But we wanna look at this in like a more pessimistic viewpoint. So I would say go for seven or 8% right here and we'll talk about the rest later. So I've typed in 7%. And as you can see, the numbers are drastically different than they were before because at first it was just 4%. Look, 4% is, is not typical. I'll put it that way. In my experience and in every other investor that I've looked into, like 4% is not typical. What is typical is 7% if you invest in the right things. And it's really not that complicated to invest in the right thing. Because like I just said, the market has returned a good 9.2%. So honestly, if you just invested in something like the S&P 500, you would easily clear the 7% with no problems at all. Little to no difficulty. With that said, our number, that said, our number in order to reach FI, which is financial independence, is $1,218,857 invested. Getting a 7% return on that will give you your $85,320 per year, easily. Y'all believe it or not, my computer is having some technical difficulties with the, the screen recorder. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna move you over to my phone. I'm gonna keep updating on my computer since this is a live file, my phone will be updating and that is my problem solving for today. So check this out. With the 7% return, that's how much money needs to be invested. So for financial freedom, the thing that differentiates financial independence from financial freedom is adding luxury items on top of it. So Tony Robbins book recommends to have two to three luxury items. I always go for the worst case scenario. So at the worst case scenario, I'm always going to go for three instead of two. That's just me personally. So let's say luxury number one is a BMW M5, but I don't want to pay cash for it. I just want to do the monthly payment on it. That's going to run me about $1,300 a month. Boom. Let's say luxury item two is housekeeping because let's say, you know, I'm not a big fan of cleaning up all the time and I just wish, you know, with my busy schedule, I had somebody to help spot check every now and then. Okay, cool. Let's say that runs me about $400. And let's say for luxury item number three, that ends up running me a good $700 because let's say luxury item three is a food delivery service, which as we know by now is my weakness in life because I don't like cooking. All right. So that's going to be an additional $30,720. And that, my friends, is going to run me $1.6,057,714. That is the financial freedom number of the person who is earning $75,000 per year and has the expenses that I just discussed with you just now. And so the number is probably not as big as you thought it was. I used to think I needed to have 10, 15, 20 million dollars, but as you can see right there, you really don't have to have it like that. Now, if you wanna aim for those numbers, that is perfectly fine. If your living expenses upgrade or you start making more money, you can start to change the numbers on this because your expenses might go up. You might be able to invest a little more. So you might be able to start to see more for yourself in the future and have more hopes and more dreams. Keep building on those, but for right now, use this money card and the, the reason I made this money card is simply because I couldn't find the calculations anywhere else. I couldn't find how much money you needed to have invested. So I built it myself because I was curious and I'm going to be using this for myself going forward, especially if you watched my previous video about my financial plan for the year of 2025. This right here is going to be a big part 
of that plan. And I just want you to be part of that as well. So if you want to grab this spreadsheet, make sure you click the link in the description so you can go ahead and grab it. These numbers are not huge numbers. They're big numbers now, but they're not huge. They're not like, I'll never get to that. Like these are numbers that are 100% attainable. And when I saw my numbers for the first time, I was like, wow. And I, I, I ran this calculation years and years ago. But back then I didn't have this money card. But when I saw my numbers for the first time, I was like, wow, these numbers are still big, but I can get there. Because you know what? I actually forgot to show you this, but you only need $447,429 in order to reach the first goal, which is financial security. That number is not far-fetched at all. And so you're going to get there. And you don't have to even aim for all three of these. It might change your life to hit financial security or even financial independence. But if you wanna hit all three, I'm here to tell you, you 100% can. And obviously, the more aggressive your investments grow, let's say instead of 7%, it's an average of 10%, 15%, 20%. And, it, and that is 100% possible, which I talk about in my other videos. But if you decide to invest in things that are more aggressive yet stable, guess what? your number is gonna grow and get to your goal a lot quicker. And this number right here is gonna get smaller, so watch. Changes from 7%, we'll go generous, 15%. You see what I'm saying? When you start to make this number more aggressive, the number that you actually need to reach is very, very, very much chopped. So if you figure out how to invest and learn what to invest in, that can be the difference between you putting 1.2 million in an account and $558,000 in an account. And if you're curious and you're just wondering, how do I invest? What do I need to invest in? How do I even make my money grow? How does this stuff work? I have the perfect video for you. It's right here.